My name is Oleg Ibrahimo and today I will show you how I did this cool hyperlapse uh, with the uh, destroyed tanks. Those tanks were destroyed here in Ukraine. You got it. Let's do the sh I looked through the internet to find some best shots where I can see the tank gun. But if there was no way to download the picture, I just did a screenshot of it. Some photos have uh, a small resolution, so I used AI to scale them up. I used the Path Gigapixel AI software. I will uh, leave the link in the description. Let's jump into the After Effects. I don't think you should call yourself a motion designer if you don't know what is After Effects and how to work in it. Drop all of the stuff into the project. Create a new composition. Let's call it Frames Main and make it 124 to 124. You have to understand one key simple rule. That thing will allow you to make a ton of different hyperlapses. And that thing is... What do you buy it? What do you sell it? Ah, I buy it in a high price. That simple key is focus. You have to focus on something. And in After Effects language it means positioning of a chosen object. There is no After Effects language. That one thing have to be stable. In this case, I took that bump in the barrel on the tank cannon that is called Fume Extractor. And now we can take our first photo, place it here, turn on the title save, then pick up the anchor point tool, grab the anchor point of that picture, it is here, into the middle. Now we take the next picture, Place it here also, grab the anchor point, hold control, and it's magnetized to the center of the screen. Boom! You don't have to like rotate it yet, um, you never know what order there would be. But we can scale it down, I'll scale it down. Oh, sometimes it's hard to find the anchor point, here it is. Okay, now we have to make an order for those. Let's select all of them, Alt square bracket and I'll square bracket <laughs> to make it one frame long and start to place it as if it was turning shift them like to the side okay all of them let's see what we got that is turned totally then is turned a little bit to us then more and then away from us to the left in this case we can either uh, shift it here or you can just press S and flip it so it maybe it fits better somewhere there as here from the bushes then we go one by one with the rotation and scaling that is one is way too high R and rotate it okay holding control to make it more comfortable for you you just can take the upper layer press T and lower the opacity you can then rotate this yeah, to make the barrel like closer to the next one. So now it looks like it's turning, yeah? Nice, nice. We can take that one, turn also it that down a little bit. And that is too big. So S and scale it down. Also, we can take the layer from the bottom, make it opacity 50. It's actually good. R and maybe scale it up. So you do it with your hands. There's no easy way to do this thing. It's, it's just what I do. I just sit, rotate, scale, position, and listen to future garish. What can be better? Rotate this one. Let's watch what we got in this uh, simple and fast example. So it's basically too fast. We can take all of it and precompose it and make it uh, longer two times. And look at that. So we have something. We have something. Something is turning. Turning, twisting. Let me finish all the photos. So I was sitting and rotating, scaling, rotating, opacity. And we got like that. I'll, I'll make it slower. Like bum, 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 bum. Actually, we may end here. It's acceptable. That looks great. And you can post it on your Instagram right now. But I wanted just to go deeper 
and to cover all those white things. And as we live in such a wonderful time and can use the modern technologies, of course, I'm speaking about AI. 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 Shit, that is so stupid. There are a couple of ways how you can expand the picture using AI. First, I tried free Photoshop stable diffusion plugin. It turned to work well in painting stuff into the image, replacing things inside, but in expanding the picture, I had a really bad job here. By the way, it may work for you great if you're looking to make those hypolapses you saw on the Instagram some time ago. I will show you how I did it with the stable diffusion and with the delete tool. For stable diffusion, you have to prepare your video. I won't dive into how the stable diffusion deform works. There will be another video on my channel. I just went to the settings of the composition and make it 2000, so every photo fit. If you go to Stable Diffusion, you can put there the video you want to rework, as for example that one that I did, and uh, Lumamate, okay? So the Stable Diffusion would understand that the white area it won't touch, but the black area it will rework it needs some information underneath to rework because it's it can do anything out of the black okay so that is why i create i just duplicated all the layers that thing this that is underneath i just scale it up place it somewhere plus or minus then i did a mask for every photo go to f feather it out and expand it. I gave the stable diffusion that video. I also feathered everything out. To make an Lumamate, you just take all your photos, recompose it, okay, and create a new solid, make it white, and parent it to the photos. I used the animation style video input send two my videos into the folder inside my Google Drive, give here that video, okay, and to take it the mask from that. With the prompts I just went destroying tanks, 700 to 700 pixels. I know that the new stable diffusion the forum version goes more than 1000. Hit render and went to make some tea. So here are the results. It took the thing underneath and reworked it. Some photos are not that good. You can just use Photoshop to make things look better. In some of these, the barrel is cut off. All of that gun I masked and put it over it. Yeah, that's, that's some work to do, you know. <laughs> I combined layers of video, <laughs> yeah, combined, <laughs> put here underneath the thing I generated in stable diffusion, give it tail upscaling like that, nice, so what we got, we got something like that. I know that is not perfect, had to fix some bad areas in Photoshop, but it was fast and acceptable for such fast hyperlapse. So here is the previous example what I did. When I wasn't feathering the edges, I told Stable Diffusion just to use that Lumamate and as a main video without feathering. So as you see somewhere it is it is fitting really bad. So here are some people I also um, just deleted them because I don't need any faces. Also, I often use that crazy plugin that is called a Real Smart Motion Blur. You have to know this plugin. You can create adjustment layer and a new solid stop layer. <laughs> because it's red, you know. You just turn it off, take the pen tool and give a mask around the tank's gun. Feather it out a little bit. Then go to mask, put the stopwatch and go frame by frame. Turn it off again. Let's make the mask also red. Double click, so you mask the tank gun through all your composition. You say your adjustment layer to use that cool plugin. It's not inside plugin, but I really like it. Real smart motion blur. As you can see, 
it jumps pro from one picture to another and make that crazy look. There don't have to be a mess that hard. So that is why you tell your adjustment layer to use the stop layer and click here to invert the mat. Boom. So now everything is blurred, but the gun of a tank. So you can see it vividly. Over it, I have used the LUT from Color IO. Lumetri Color. Go to Creative. I use very often a Sirius M31 Rec 709. Drop intensity down. So the final render is like that. That is how I managed to do it with the stable diffusion. It is almost for free it is fast you just go and make a tea that is a one version of what i did using the stable diffusion then i jumped into dell e and it worked perfectly it actually out painted my picture really good we have to get back where we place the order of the tank gun 1024 on 1024 to the delete. We have to render it in PNG sequence with alpha. Created the folder. So here we are, delete site. For registration, website gives you 50 credits. I have 44 right now because I did some things here. By credit, 115 credits for $15. I can use Dali Feather On to make my hippolapsis look great. Okay. <laughs> that is that is nice, you know. Upload image. That's one. Place it. Here it is, 1024 on 1024. Type this Roy Tank. Go. Look at that. Yo. That is future. Except, of course, I can use it to finish my to finish my work. Upload the picture. Skip cropping. Okay. So as you see, Dali side understands the transparent section, and all we have to do just type destroyed tank in the forest, and go generate. I think the first one suits better. Website takes one credit for every action you make with AI. That is why I created the project to be that resolution. Okay, so that the whole picture would fit. So as you see, it took me one credit. There was 44 credits. For that, I accept. Now I can download it. Here, uh, after you do any actions, you can go to history and see everything you did. So it doesn't matter if you accept it or not. Everything is here and we've been trying to add some drinking bear. A bear drinking in the bushes. The bear is right there. Where's the bear in the previous three pictures? I don't know, I forgot to add it, but here it is. So I've been trying to give a bear here and it did some, some ugly shit. Now look at that. That was the picture, uh, the versions of outpainted information gave some bouquet from the from the lightning and now i just will go through and outpaint all of my pictures and see you in the results i just use the lee and photoshop and it's all i need you may as well use the lee instead of photoshop to delete objects if there is uh, another big gap in the picture, I don't want to waste the whole credit for that, so I can go just to Photoshop and just fill it with this with a simple tool in the Photoshop. Spot healing brush tool, or if I don't want to, to do it right on the top, I can just use the stamp alt here and go like that. Then again take that, that healing tool and go like that. So guys, this is the version with uh, Stable Diffusion and the second one is with Delhi 2. And so you can compare them and give me a thumbs up because it's actually cool as sh**. 
So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. I hope you learned something from me. Rise and shine, Mr. Moody. Rise and shine. Wanna know how to easily change your voice? Yes, yo, my wife wanted to make the floor warmer. My wife is doing those t-shirts, you can buy it, I leave the link.